A pleasant morning to everyone. So, we have here a analog multimeter or multitester. So, it is uh, Sanwa YX360TRF model. So, before we proceed to testing or checking any electronic components or measuring voltage, we need to understand first the parts of our multimeter. The analog multimeter is commonly used by technicians because it is uh, uh, simply to use and calibrate. Now, let us proceed to the parts of the analog multimeter. Alright, this one is the scale area. The scale. The scale is divided into different scale. The first is the resistance on the upper part. Next is the voltage. Next is the uh, capacitance and so on. So this is the scale. The commonly used scale here is the resistance scale and the voltage scale. So we have here the uh, zero volt adjustment knob. It is used to adjust the pointer to the zero so that we can have an accurate measurement or voltage measurement. So once you twist or rotate the zero volt adjustment knob, the pointer will move based on your rotation. And it should be goes, uh, set to zero to have an accurate measurement. We call it the calibration. The pointer, we call the uh, pointer or needle. Next, we have the zero, volt, uh, zero ohm adjustment knob. It is used to adjust the resistance into zero to have an accurate resistance measurement. We have here the test probe. We have two test probes. The positive and negative. The black is the negative. The red is the positive. In calibration of the resistance scale, you need to connect the two test probe and set to ohmmeter range. So in calibration, you need to adjust the zero ohm adjustment knob so that the pointer will stop to zero. Once it's set to zero, the multi-tester is ready to use. It is now calibrated. Next, we have the selector switch. So the selector switch, it is, uh, it is used to turn on and off the multi-tester or to select the different range around the selector switch. The red part of the range is the ACV range. It is used to measure alternating current voltage. This one on the left side is the DCV range. It is used to measure the direct current range. Then we have here the DCA range, it is used to measure direct current. No? It is used to measure direct current. Next, we have here the ohmmeter range. It is used to measure resistance. It is used to measure resistance. We have here DC, it is used to measure the capacitance of a capacitor. And we have here the DC vinyl. So we have here the positive and negative or plus, and, uh, plus or minus 25 and also the plus and minus 5. So in every range or in every quantity you're going to measure, 
we can use the different range. In ACV and the DCV, we have here the 10, 50, 250, or 1,000. So, the range in DCV and ACV tells us that will be the maximum voltage that the tester can test on that range. For example, we have here the 50, ACB 50 range. The maximum that the multi-tester can measure is up to 50 volts only. Beyond that, it can damage our multi-tester. That is the range of ACB and the DCB. Likewise with the DCB. When you set it to 250 range, the maximum that you can measure using the multi-tester is only up to 250 volts only. Okay? So, in resistance range, we have the different range. We have the times 1, the times 10, times 100, times 1K, and times 100K. The times or the X there represent the multiplications. Once you have a reading on the scale, you're going to multiply by 1 if you are set in times 1. You're going to multiply in times 10 or times 100 or times one or times 1K depending on your range. For example, your multimeter is set to times 100 and the reading or the pointer stop on 2 ohms. So the reading is 2 ohms, that is not yet your measurement because the 2 ohms, you're going to multiply it by 100. So 2 times 100, that will be 200. So your measurement is 200 ohms. That is the purpose of the times or X10 or X1, X100. Right? So those are the parts of our analog multimeter, specifically Sanwa YX360TRF. Okay, so now you already know the different parts and function of the analog multimeter. So you can now use our tester in measuring voltage, in testing or checking electronics components. Thanks for listening and God bless.